The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. A Glorious Substitution Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Galatians 3 verse 13 It is the providence of the law to condemn, but there is in it no power to pardon or to redeem. Without Christ, the law of itself is only condemnation and death to the transgressor. It has no saving quality, no power to shield the transgressor from its penalty. The transgression of God's law made the death of Christ essential to save man, and yet maintained the dignity and honor of the law. Christ took upon himself the condemnation of sin. He opened his bosom to the woes of man. He who knew no sin became sin for us. As man's substitute and surety, the iniquity of men was laid upon Christ. He was counted a transgressor that he might redeem them from the curse of the law. He, the sin barrier, endures judicial punishment for iniquity and becomes sin itself for man. Sin so hateful to his sight was heaped upon him till he groaned beneath his weight. The despairing agony of the Son of God was so much greater than his physical pain that the latter was hardly felt by him. God permits his Son to be delivered up for our offenses. He himself assumes towards the sin barrier the character of a judge, divesting himself of the enduring qualities of a father. Herein his love commends itself to the most marvelous manner of the rebellious race. The sin of the whole world was laid upon Jesus, and divinity gave its highest value to the suffering of humanity in Jesus, that the whole world might be pardoned through faith in the substitute. The most guilty need have no fear that God will not pardon. For because of the efficacy of the divine sacrifice, the penalty of the law will be remitted. Through Christ, the sinner may return to allegiance to God.